What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness. And in this video, I wanna to talk to you guys about why you shouldn't be doing neck bridges for your neck. Okay, so before I get started, just take a second to give this video a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And uh, you know, it helps me out a lot, obviously. And um, yeah, so let's get right into it. So if you're a wrestler, a BJJ guy, or a judo guy, you probably know what I'm talking about, neck bridges. Especially in wrestling, uh, it's a staple exercise to condition your neck. So you could have a really strong neck, so you could post on your head, and you can, you know, and less chances of injury and, 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 and whatnot, okay? So the problem with this is that I actually made a drawing for you guys to um, explain this faster. With the visual here, you'll see what I mean. Okay, so look at this drawing here. This is supposed to be a spine, okay? Now, the numbers of vertebrae here aren't representative of how many actual vertebrae you have, okay? It's just, uh, you know, I just made it quick, you know, but just enough so that you guys will get the point. So, here at the top here, this is where your head would be. This is your cervical spine, okay? So at the top here, the vertebrae is, 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 is at its smallest. As you go down, it gets bigger, okay? At the top here where your neck is, okay, it can take up to 100 pounds of pressure, all right? As you go down, you know, the vertebrae get bigger and you're at 350, 350 pounds at the, uh, uh, the what do you call it, the sacrum level, all right? So now let me just put this away. So right there, I, I'm guessing you guys are already, already have an idea of why you shouldn't be doing neck bridges. Because when you're bridging, okay, you're compressing, there's compression force, okay? And it, it, we're all, come on, we're all over 100 pounds here, all right? There's compression force. And when you're moving it, like uh, when, you're, when you're going back and forth like this with your neck, whether you're doing it from the back or from the front, okay, there's shearing force too. You know, so it's, oh boy, you know, like it's, uh, it's, it's a really bad uh, scenario and it's an accident waiting to happen. Yes, your neck will get strong, but at the price of your vertebrae, okay? And, you know, you're going to wear out your intervertebrae discs, the discs that are in between your vertebrae. And if you do that, you're fucked, okay? You're going to have to get surgery. So now... One thing I want to I wanna talk to you guys about is that if your instructor is telling you to do this shit, just don't fucking do it, you know? And you don't have to explain them to them why unless like, you know, like that in front of the whole class and shit like that, you know, because you don't want to like stand out and, you know, you get into a, a fucking uh, debate about it, right? You could tell them later, like when you're alone with him if you want. But one thing you can do is simply to tell them, and this is what I do, um... Last time when my coach decided we're going to fucking do all these neck exercises or posting our, our head on the floor and just jumping around and shit, I just told him, ah, oh, shit, I can't. My neck hurts. That's it. And I haven't had a chance to tell him yet. We, we actually have a very, we're very close. We have a very um, a deep relationship. So, you know, I could talk to him about this kind of shit, but I haven't, I just haven't had time yet. So, um... Yeah, like don't do it because you're gonna, yes, your neck is gonna get strong, okay, but you're gonna fuck up your disc and uh, it could happen fast, it could happen, uh, you know, a little bit slower, you know, but you will fuck up your neck, okay? So now that being said, okay, there's also uh, this other thing that I, that I see people use, it's, it's a harness, okay? So it's, it's a harness that they wear on their head and then it has like a, a chain or whatever, and then they attach a, a, a weight to it, and then they go up and down like that. Now, what I don't like about this one is that the weight is hanging uh, from uh, from the chain, okay? And then so it make, and then I see people going really fast and stuff like that, and th that's kind of you're, you're putting the weight like really far in front of you, okay? And then you're 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 going up and down really quick. I mean, it's kind of um, there's it's ballistic. You know, and and I don't trust that. I really don't trust that. So, what do you do if you want to have a strong neck? Well, there's a lot of things you could do. Okay, uh, well, not a lot, but I mean, your neck is only it's um, it's you know there's only certain uh, things that it could do. Okay, it's it's essentially a if I'm not mistaken a no not a condyloid joint a 
well, it's kind of like your, your, your wrist and your ankle, right? So it, it goes, you know, back and forth, a little bit side to side. And um, okay, so the way you, you, would, you, would, uh, you, would get, you could get your neck stronger is that you could use manual resistance, right? Which is much safer. So manual, resistant, manual resistance looks like this. So let's say I, I grab my head here. Okay, so I use my arm here to, you know, put, uh, put some resistance and then, there you go. I push it onto this side. And then when I want to do the other side, like that. And then if I want to, let's say, work uh, the, back of my, uh, the back of my neck, so I put pressure here, like that. And if I want to do the front, I just put pressure up here under my chin and I press down. And I let myself go through the whole range of motion. Okay, and now another way you could do is that you could actually just lie down on your uh, at the edge of your bed, on your back, and then just go like that. And then if you lie on your stomach, then you know you're going this way. And then obviously you could lie on your side and go this way. And then you could uh, you could lie on on the edge of a bed or a bench, and you could do that. And I'll put a link down below to a video from Atlee Next, okay, which I think is the one of the most legit guys if not the most legit in terms of um, exercise science when he's showing you stuff because he has a background in sports medicine, he's a physiotherapist too, trains athletes and all that. So one of, in this video, like he'll show you where he's on the bench and then his head is a little bit to the side, he puts a towel on his head. Let's say at one point you just want more weight, you know, and you, you get tired of, you know, using your arms and stuff like that because you can't, really, it's kind of hard to tell how much, uh, you know, force you're, you're exerting here with your, uh, what do you call it? With your, with, your, with your arm, right, with your hand. So what he does is that he lies on a bench and then after that he, he does the same exercise but he'll put a towel uh, you know, on his forehead or on the side of his head or on the back of his head and then he'll put a weight there, okay? And then you, know, you could just hold it there so that um, it stays into place while you move uh, in, in your range of motion. So that I think is the best way to strengthen your neck and not fuck it up, okay? Because you want to get the, um, how do you say it? You want to get your neck strong, uh, muscular and stuff like that, but you don't want to be um, putting pressure on your vertebrae. So uh, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys, I enjoyed that. I hope it was helpful. And uh, if you did, like, comment, subscribe, and share the video uh, to your friends and stuff like that. And um, think about it. Like what I just said there, it makes a lot of sense. And if you if you ask you if you've been training for a while now, like you, you ask around, and a lot of guys who have uh, big wrestling backgrounds or stuff like that, they're all and they're and that they're a little bit older now, like their, their necks are all fucked up, all fucked up. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thanks a lot for listening. See you next time. Peace.